Hello friends, I am Sanjay Joshi and has been training students to face quantitative ability, logical reasoning and data interpretation in various complete exams for more than two decades. Friends, today I am here to discuss with you the strategy of the quant area of CET Maharashtra exam. Let's have the overview of the session. There is no section in the exam students. The paper is random. So you uh, last year the total question of quantitative area uh, was 18 to between 18 to 23 and the each question carry one marks and the major area covered under the quant area was from you can say board mass calculation based on percentages averages profit and loss time and work time speed and distance basic algebra and probability and students the questions covered from the maths area was of the very easy level now let's see the questions of the quant area. First question says Alfred buys an old scooter for rupees 4700 and spent rupees 800 on its repair. That means total he spent money spent is 47 plus 800 is 5500 total he spent. If he sells the scooter for rupees 5800 his gain percent is now the selling price is 58 as we know the profit is selling price minus cost price so profit will be 5800 minus 5500 it will be students 300 and what he is asking gain percent as we are aware we simply what we should know here student the basic concept of the maths in CET Maharashtra exam hardly you will find one or two technical question in which some more technical knowledge is required but here again what is profit percent profit upon cost price into 100 it will be 560 so it will be 60 by 11 and what is 60 by 11 it will be 5 5 by 11 percent so answer is second option only what is required in this exam students i will tell you in the later stages uh, now see the next question the average weight of 8 percent increases by 2.5 kg as we did the question in most of the cases in CT Marasta in maths area you should do the question at the first reading if you are reading the question two three times then it's very difficult to read all the 200 questions because 200 questions are there students so eight persons 2.5 kg increases that is total weight increases is eight into 2.5 only it should come in your mind it is 20 kg and now what so he says when a new person comes in place of one of them replaced by one other person and is same here students and one of them weighing 65 kg the person who is going is 65 and rises 20 kg that means what is the weight of new person it is 65 plus 20 it will be 85 which is third option i am writing here to tell you but believe me if you are good in reading and good in logic and calculations you can do it orally most of the question you can do totally in the CT Mars exam. Okay, students. Now let's go to the third question. Sham purchased 20 dozen of toys at the rate of 375 per dozen. He sold each one of them. Now it is given each one of them at 33. So what was his percentage profit again? Question is for profit and loss. Now see students, what is the price 375 rupees per dozen? That means of one cost, cost price is 375 by 12 for one article and what is the selling price selling price is 33 given so what is the profit 33 minus 375 by 12 it will be 12 336 396 minus 375 by 12 it will be 21 by 12 it is the profit 21 by 12. So what exam is asking percentage profit again same formula you can apply which we have applied in first profit what is the formula profit upon cost price and what is the cost price of one article 375 by 12 into 100 and when you will solve this 
then you will get 21 21 upon 375 into 100 it will be 25 into 4 25 and 25 15 3 5 15 3 7 21 it will be 28 by 5 and what is 28 by 5 student it will be 5.6 right now i'm doing all the calculations but you can do some calculations only clear students so what is the golden rule what is the golden rule for this CT master exam is that you have to read the question only once as far as it is possible and if you are able to do the question within 30 to 40 seconds then believe me you can do all the 200 questions okay students now let's let's see the next question it is from time speed distance walking at 5 by 6 of his usual speed soil is 20 minute late again if you are aware of the formula distance equal to speed into time or you can say distance by speed is equal to time because here it is given time 20 minute late walking now what is the distance d and what is the speed 5 by 6 d upon 5 by 6 of s that is time is equal to time should be t but his style is 20 minute late it is t plus 20 and when you solve this 6 upon 5 d by s equal to t plus 20 and what is d by s students d by s is t so replace it by t 6 by 5 t minus t is equal to 20 and t will be 100 now this is what is the t this t is usual time taken this t is usual time taken and what examiner is asking here the student make mistakes sometime they, they mark answer as 100 but see but you have to see critically that he is asking about the total time taken student total time so what is total time 100 plus 20 which will be 120 minute so answer is 120 minute which is third option now come to next question and uh, these type of questions based on percentages and board mass they are 8 to 10 they were 8 to 10 in the number student so if you are good in calculations then all these 8 to 10 questions you can do within 4 to 5 minutes I am saying 4 to 5 is also on higher side within, within 2 to 3 minutes but again you should good in calculations so that you can do half of the thing orally and like 6% of 350 what is 6% of 350? 6 into 35? 21 so it is 21 what is 2% 7, 700? it is 2 into 7 14 so what is 2, 21 plus 14? it is 35 is asking either you can do x percent of 1400 or you can go through options what is 200 if i say 2 2 percent of 14 is 28 3 percent of 14 is 1400 is 42 so the answer should be between 2 and 3 so here it should be 2.5 there's no need of writing if you can do this question within 20 30 seconds then it's okay you can do all this all this type of question within 2 to 3 minutes so students there's no need of writing for these type of questions what should come in again same question 4672 based on board mass 4672 divided by 40 into 4 these things will be in the denominator so you will consider 4 4 11 14 44 4 6 24 then 4 8 again divided by 4 4 2962 that is 292 by 10 which will be 29.2 so answer will be third option so cancel it by 4 you know the divisible test of 4 last two digit and then after that you can see what is the answer now next question is again simple question based on algebra on algebra there were two three questions were there on basic algebra like if you know the formula students a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square then this question you can do orally in the numerator it is given a cube plus b cube and denominator again you can see a square plus b square and in the center it is a b because when you will multiply 6 into 5 it will be 0.3 so when you write this so this will be cancelled so answer will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6 which will be 1.1 because a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and in the denominator it is given a square minus a b plus b square so it will be cancelled i am not writing here simply the application of the formula of a cube plus b cube now the next question is students 
what should come in place of question mark again question based on percentage you should know percentage chart suppose if i ask you 50% of which 100 you will say sir it is 400 because 50% means half we are aware 50% means half so if you are aware about these 37 and half percent it is 3 by 8 so you can do it orally 3 by 8 of 72 will be 8972 it is 27 if you know 58 1 by 3 percent percentage chart it is 7 by 12 then you can do 7 by 12 into 48 it will be student 28 so what is 27 plus 28 it is 55 minus 15 percent 70 15 into 7 is 105 it is 10.5 and minus 10.5 it will be it will be 44.5 so answer is second option but for that you should know percentage chart believe me students this percentage chart can help you a lot in ratio percentages time and work in question based on calculations and you can find three to four type of question such type of question total question were 8 to 10 of board mass based on board mass calculations addition division and percentages and these are the you can say free marks if you are good in calculation but if you are not good in calculation friends then you will you can take 10 to 12 minute and that that plays a major role so the golden rule is you have to read question a single time and if you are good in calculation then it is a added advantage for you so now come to the next question a uh, question based on probability basic question students if you know the basic of probability a dice is rolled twice what is the probability that the sum of the numbers on the face two faces is 5 how you can find uh, find 5 it is 1 4 or 4 1 it is 2 3 or 3 2 these are the four cases which make 5 total and if we are uh, uh, throwing two dice that is total number of cases are 6 into 6 36 and favorable are 4 so what is the probability 4 by 36 which will be 1 by 9 and answer is fourth option basic question of probability was there these type of questions were there in the last year ct maras exam initially students there were five choices but last last year in the ct maras exam choices are four they have changed the pattern in the case of choices and there is no negative as you are aware in ct maras what is remainder One 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 question was there of the remainder, and if you have already done the preparation, then you can know how to solve this question. Three raised to the power forty-seven divided by five. Here you can make cycles. Uh, if you are aware cycles about cycles, three three square is three divided by five. Remainder is three. Second step is three square, which is nine divided by five. It is four. Then four into three is twelve. Twelve divided by five. It is two, and then two into three is six. Six divided by five remainder is one. When you will get student one, then you will get the. Then you have to stop there. Now cycle is a four. After the fourth step, there is remainder one. So what you can do after that? Power forty-seven divided by cycle four. Remainder four eleven forty-four eleven. Such four cycles will be there. The remainder is three. Remainder is three. So at the third place, you have to see one, two, three. Answer is two. only you can do this if you have done the number system in detail you know the, the concept of cyclicity but again student there on other way also without cyclicity you can also do like we are aware if we are aware 3 raised to power 4 is 81 and 81 divided by 5 remainder will be 1 so you can convert this into 3 raised to power 4 47 by 4 it will be 11 and remainder will be 3 4 into 11 into 3 raised to power 3 it will be 3 raised to power 47 divided by 5 what is 3 raised to power 4 student it is 81 by 5 and power is 11 into 27 so it will give remainder 1 1 raised to power anything will be 1 and 1 into 27 is 27 divided by 5 remainder will be 2 again answer is 2 it this is by cyclicity if you want to know students about cyclicity or about the concept of number system then you can see videos in hitbolsai.com about the number system we have done there a lot of videos on each and every concept so it is up to you if you want to see so now next next question is uh, it is from time and work ajay can do work in 20 days deepak like same ajay 20 days deepak in 30 days both started together and worked for 4 days and then ajay left the job now student as we are aware 1 by 20 1 day work 1 by 30 you can do it orally lc me 60 12 3 32 which is 5 by 60 or you can say 1 by 
so they started together work for four days so in four days they will do the job one third now remaining job is one minus one by three which is two by three I'm writing all these things, but if you are aware, then there's no need to write. You can do totally 112 into 3 into 4, 1 third remaining work is 2 third. Then who left? Ajay left the job. Then find that Deepak will do the remaining job in how many days? Deepak can do whole job in 30 days. So 30 days Deepak can do the job, 2 third job he will take. That is 20 days. So answer is third option. Deepak can do the job in 20 days. Now the next question is A speaks to 80%. Again, question based on probability, but it is again some typical question. If you know the concept, then you can do within 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds. But you should know the concept, students. A speaks to 80% cases and B in 70% cases. Chances of there are contradiction. Con contradict. Contradict means if one will say right truth, other will say lie. Then they will contradict. Now A speaks to 80%. Suppose if A is speaking truth in 80% then B has to speak lie and B speaks truth in 70% cases that means B speaks uh, 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 B will lie in 30% of cases or for or we are putting plus sign now here I have taken A is speaking truth now here A is speaking A is telling lie. 0.2% cases, 20% I can say 0.2 and then B has to speak truth in 70% of cases because in probability students this and this or when there is and then we have to multiply and when there is or then we have to addi addition, we have to do addition. It is 0.24, it is 0.14 and we will add it will be 0.38 that means in 38% of cases second option they will contradict each other. Now these are the questions students which were there in the last year CT. Uh, you can assume all those questions as a real question because the paper is of this level. And you can see students, the questions are very basic. Main thing is you have to do your calculation very good. You have to read, you have to memorize percentage chart, tables, squares, roots, percentage values. Clear students? Because if you're, if you're good in calculations, then you can do all the questions orally. 70 to 80% question of maths. So thank you students, hope that you, you understood the message what I want to convey and if you want to see su such more videos then you can enroll to hitbullseye.com. Thank you, thank you students.